Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 8th of 2024 is titled Periodic Comet Swift Tuttle. So what do we see here? Well, this is a comet and it is known as Swift Tuttle. And that is the last time it was actually visiting the inner part of the solar system. In 1992, this image was taken. Now, this is what we call a periodic comet, and those are comets that come back every certain amount of time. In this case, it's about 133 years. So it was here in 1992, and it is expected to come to the inner solar system again in 2126. So, got over 100 years to wait still before this comet will return to the inner parts of the solar system. However, when it does, it gives off the distinct tails that we see and the the characteristics of a comet that we're used to seeing. We see that greenish head there, which is generally due to carbon atoms when they are excited by sunlight. And then the material is then pushed back into the two tails that we see. Going straight back, we see the ion tail. And smaller and slightly off to the upper right of that, we see the fainter white dust tail. Now the ion tail is individual ions or atoms that are pushed straight back from the sun by the energy of the sun. And the dust tail is heavier particles, heavier molecules that are left behind in the orbit. So they tend to lag behind in the orbit. And that fans out into that dust tail that we see. Now, why is this interesting to look at now if when we're not going to see it for over 100 years again? Well, that's because Swift Tuttle is actually going to be making a type of appearance this coming weekend. And that is because the debris that's left behind by this comet continues to follow along the same orbit around the sun as the comet did. And when Earth happens to pass through that, that gives us a meteor shower. And this is actually the parent comet of the Perseid meteor shower, which is one of the more prominent meteor showers that we happen to have. And that peak will be coming up this weekend. So this weekend after the moon sets will be a very good time to be able to see meteors flashing across the sky. And in fact, with the Perseids, you can often see up to one or even two a minute. Uh, if you have good dark skies and a very dark location, the brighter your location, the harder it's going to see because the fainter those will appear. So the fainter ones will be hard to see if your sky is, uh, is overly bright. But if you have a very dark sight, you can actually usually get a pretty good view of the Perseid meteor shower. And this is where those come from, from the comet known as Swift Tuttle. So that was our picture of the day for August 8th of 2024. It was titled Periodic Comet Swift Tuttle. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Perseids in space. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.